Now, before we work with any of the coffee that we just mixed, you guys are gonna go ahead and draw the flower that corresponds to um, your grade. So you're gonna go ahead and draw these little, it's called a wisteria. That's the type of flower you guys have. Um, the reason I chose it is because you can see that there's a clear transition between what would be considered a tint into a shade, which is what we ended up just creating with the three different coffee pots. So at the very top, again, make sure you're going to go ahead and write your name. Your section number. And then for your heading, you're going to go ahead and write coffee wisteria. So for the drawing, um, I'm going to go ahead and just basically follow this very simple structure. I'm going to start with the little branch in the middle that collects, uh, connects this entire thing. So again, from this very corner over here, I'm going to end over there. Now I want you to start a little wide and you're going to go ahead and end really, really skinny. So it'll look something like this. Now, you do not have to do this in a specific order, but we just want to make sure that this thing looks full. So from every single little branch, you're most likely gonna have them overlapping each other like this. So I'm just adding lines to identify where my little petals are gonna be. Now, if you notice, they're very simply shaped. It's more like this uh, sort of semicircle. So I want you to go ahead and add a little semicircle. It just so happens that it might have maybe one or two connected. So I'm gonna do all the ones on the right side first, just cause it helps me stay organized. You can work in whatever order you want, but I wanna make sure that they look like they're together and not super, super apart and separate and they look like they have nothing to do with each other. It's not what we're going for here. You can overlap them. Just keep in mind that if you draw anything above another object, that you erase that line and take it back. And then I'm going to leave this side blank because I want to teach you guys how to paint in the little petals without even having to draw them. But if you did want to draw them, this would be the exact same thing on this side. And then I want you to notice that at the very top, we have these sort of little spike looking sections. So they're not actually petals. You can go ahead and add the spikes if you want to. Or I can teach you how to just add them in later. So I'm going to leave it like this. Now, this is where I need you to go ahead and use your brush. Remember, if you do not have a brush at home, then you're using any of the little home materials that I mentioned in the video from before. Um, and then at this point, you should have your three different coffee tints and shades, I guess, or tones mixed in together. Remember that we have one that's like super, super dark. Then we have a middle tone that has like half water. And then we have a very light tone that has most of the water possible. I'm going to start with the one and make sure you stir it up again just to make sure your colors are mixing in as best as they possibly could. Then again, remember it's not paint. It's not going to look perfect. It is coffee. Um, please make sure that you have a napkin with you so you can wipe your way your brush as needed. Like I said, I'm going to start with my lightest coffee. So again, the one that has the most water. The reason I'm starting light is because just in case I accidentally mess up, if I start too dark, it's hard to take it back. Now, as I mentioned before, the very beginning of the petals are the lightest. And then by the very end, they're the darkest. So I'm going to work in that exact same order. So like I said, start with my lightest coffee, my lightest coffee shade, and I'm going to add it to the very bottom of each one of those little petals that I just drew. Be very cautious when doing this though. Make sure you're not adding too much water because if you wet your paper too much, it'll get soggy and might accidentally rip on you. So please be very careful with that. So I'm adding my water to the very center. Then I can switch to that middle tone and I can add it next to the tone that I had from before. Or I could jump straight in with my darkest coffee and put it at the very edge and then slowly push it down so that it meets the rest of the petal that I already have, okay? Now, because it's coffee and not paint, please do not expect this to be like super neat 
or super careful or super detailed. The very first base that you give it is going to be a little bit messy, okay? And then after it dries a tiny bit, then I'll show you how to just outline it back to make sure your petals stand out. So you're going to leave it like this. Um, again, if you don't want to have to draw every single one of these, you're going to do the same approach if you're not drawing the petals first, where you basically paint in, in light colors, where you want your petals to even be. And then you can mix in those little areas with the darker parts. Make sure you're covering a little bit of the stem too. You don't want it to be super standing out. And then you can try to pat it to accumulate a lot of those little coffee grinds. Go back into this one now that it's a little bit more dry. Put some in the center to hide the stem. And then for these, you can either paint it in like this, or whatever the case may be, and you can go ahead and just pat into the rest of it. When this dries, then you're gonna take either a pencil, a black pen, black marker, whatever the case you may have. Um, be very careful, like right now, if I do this, it might rip because my paper is very sensitive. Please wait to do this when the coffee um, has already dried. Because then what I want you to do is, with the pen or marker or whatever it is that you have at home, you're gonna go back and you're gonna go ahead and outline. Notice that I'm struggling right now because it's wet, but let's pretend this one right here is one of my little petals. Again, it's darker at the top, lighter at the bottom. Let's pretend that's one of my petals. After it dries, then what I want you to do is go back into it with a bold color and try to outline it so it stands out. Again, please do not do this while your paper is still wet because you will rip your drawing. So that sums up today's or this week's drawing. Keep in mind, this is the flower that you are doing just in case. I'm gonna leave it projected on the screen just so you guys get a good look at it. 